हेलो एंड शालो मे एवरी वन सो एक्चुअली टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग बोर्ड पेपर ऑफ टेंथ क्लास इंग्लिश पेपर ऑफ टेंथ क्लास सो देर आर सो मेनी रेव्यूज ऑन इट कि द पेपर वॉज डिफिकल्ट द पेपर वॉज टफ इट वॉज आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स बट एक्चुअली पेपर वॉज कन्वीनियंटली ओके सी एवरी टाइम वेन एवर अ पेपर सेटर सेट्स अ पेपर इट इज ऑफ like 25% they keep for easy 50% they keep for average and 25% they keep keep for tough okay so here easy portion usually they give uh, passages average and tough they give literature and writing part right this year what they did was ki they switched this thing passages they gave passage a bit difficult yes they gave passages a bit difficult section and they took grammar and literature portion as easy and average so a normal student is thinking that the paper was what difficult but actually it is on the set pattern that 25% easy 50% average and 25% tough so we'll be discussing the questions now uh everybody you have already read the passage before and we'll start doing the questions the first question is england or britain turn by turn came under the rule of and these are the four options when we are reading the passage we already know that they are talking about what romans romans came first saxons came second and normans came third so basically in the passage like you already have read this is the quite uh, lengthy passage here the passage is easy but the questions are a bit confusing if not confusing the uh, relatability the option relatability is very close like very close knit options are there so we already know from the passage that first who came romans then who came saxons and then who came normans so basically the passage is talking about the judiciary the passage is talking about the judiciary system ki how before uh, the 5th century romans were there from 6th to 11th century saxons came and after that normans came how they are giving the punishments theek hai the romans were giving quite reasonable punishment actually they had what law it is all written in the passage they have what law the saxons did not have law actually they what they have was rough rough judgment ya to they scot free like that only otherwise they give what brutal punishments so this is all mentioned but here in the first question we just want to have a bit of idea ki who came first who came second and who came third so where will be the answer first is romans then saxons and then normans so our answer for the first question is c next the article describes see basically in the last slide we saw ki the article is describing the judiciary system the judiciary system how it developed in england and so this title is suitable ki the development of the system of justice in england so how it came from rule of law to rough punishments to the normans decided so how it developed along the passage of time so the passage is telling us this so the answer will be first okay the next is the question study the following statements now we are studying it we are reading it romans were proud of their judicial systems yes or no were romans proud of their judicial system i suppose yes because it is written they had a system 
there is not much difference between normans and modern system of justice so according to the passage we already know what was the norman system norman system was ki they could hire they could hire through money yes they could hire through money and make those people battle along so normans are using these methods and today's modern system also is what we can hire whom lawyers we can hire what lawyers so uh, and it is not battle of course but definitely lawyers and then money the amount of fees one can pay is also a defining factor so all these things are true in today's system of justice so the answer is first is also correct and second is also correct let's see a is right b is wrong both a and b are right okay so let's see according to the passage let's see the fourth one it is very easy because we have already discussed the table so romans what romans had they had law so they had educated judges and lawyers so we just have to figure out where where can we see romans with a with third can we see a with four uh, a with third no can we see a with third yes can we see a with third no here also no so through the process of elimination we have not matched these but still we can get to an idea ki where is the correct answer we just have to match first okay so this is our answer next study the following statements in a trial by battle money played a main role yes definitely money played a main role because the more money see it is written in the passage the more money they had the better players they can uh, they can hire for what for combating for battling god help the innocent with battle see it is quite uh possible ki this is also right but if we define it then it is wrong see it is written in the passage that's why this question is of uh, a bit of confusion we are waiting for uh, cbsc to clear the confusions in the answer key also but uh, here first is completely correct so we have to figure out a is right b is wrong b is right a is wrong see this is this is wrong because we already know that this is correct in question number 5 one thing is common one thing is for sure that a option will be correct okay so this option is wrong both a and b are right a was the conclusion see a can be the conclusion no both a and b are right a was not the conclusion yes see we can see here that it is a bit confusing in four of these options but uh, we have to take an answer so we'll go with this both a and b are right see this is also mentioned in our passage and this is also mentioned in our passage so we have to balance we have to uh, look where can we find keywords in it hai na so we know this is written in our passage we also know this is written in our passage so both a and b are right we are going with this but a was not the conclusion because it is not relevant it is not relating to it okay so with me if you go the answer will be what d next so next question is question number 6 and it is study the following statements A option says Saxon system of trial was nobler than that of Romans. See it is never given that it was nobler but it is given that it is rough. So it is completely wrong. Next is Saxon system had two aspects rough and noble. See again this is correct. This is correct that's why we know that first one is wrong. C option is the rich Saxons could hire there is no word like rich saxons given in the passage so c option is incorrect fourth is even an innocent person would be held guilty if enough people did not swear for him and this is completely correct 
so we know that b and d options are correct and it is asked over here that the for which of the following is correct so b and d makes our d option correct okay so our option is d we have this uh, question number 7 in front of us study the following statements earlier england comprised of small villages with small population this is one statement this is already what given in our passage and it is written next crimes like cheating and fraud were rare yes this is also given and this is also written we have already read both these uh, statements in where in our passage now the question is a bit tricky now they are using the word assertions and what response and then again unrelated assertions and responses and assertions and responses basically it is cause and effect if you cannot understand what is assertion and what is a response you should know that it is a cause and effect relation assertion and response means what cause and effect let's find ki because england was closely knit community see it is written small village each with small population small village small population means a closely knit community so when england is a closely knit community therefore this is the cause and this is the effect therefore crimes and like cheating and fraud were what rare yes so it is uh, option number a that a is assertion assertion is what cause and b is response response is what effect so our answer will be what answer a next question is which of the following statements are true the rich have always enjoyed an advantage in the judicial system because they were physically strong so would win the see no where it is written that they are physically strong they could hire the strongest champion yes they can hire the best lawyers yes they could persuade the priest to swear on their behalf b and c should be the answer ठीक है ओनली बी एंड सी आर करेक्ट वी कैन नॉट से एनीथिंग अबाउट डी बट स्टिल सी बी एस सी इज गिविंग आंसर एज बोथ ऑफ दीज आर करेक्ट यस बट वी विल गो विथ बी एंड सी ओके नेक्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आर नॉट ट्रू इन द क्वेस्ट फॉर जस्टिस द गिल्टी ऑफन वेंट अनपनिश्ड यस we have to figure out not true so this is true so this is not our answer because we have to figure out what is not true what is false so this cannot be our answer because this is what this is true for 700 years from the 6th century trial was mostly rough now we know from the passage that 700 years this is what false because in the passage it is clearly given the factual data that 500 or 600 years are given from 6th century the data is from 6th century to 10th century yes so when we count 6 to 10th it is not coming to be 7 it is coming to be 6 so this is what this is false and whatever is false is our answer let's uh, read third uh, uh, third option also swearing value of a priest was equal to a dozen ordinary peasants okay it is not uh, equal was equal to a dozen ordinary peasants no it is half a dozen so again this is what false next use of champions in a trial by battle is equivalent in modern terms bhai yes next b and c is its answer what are not true so it is what b and c okay next any glimmering of civilization so our last question is glimmer glimmering of civilization civilization what do we mean by glimmering glimmering means shine what do we mean by glimmer glimmer means shine glimmer means what hope of something so let's uh, read 
glimmering stands for a slight suggestion a great hope see fear little confidence they are not positive words theek hai slight they are also not it is also not a positive word so the answer will be a great hope okay so we have done and discussed the passage and uh, now we will discuss our next passage so our next passage from question number 11 it is uh, given here and definitely most of you have read this i'll be telling you the summary that this passage is basically on road kills how the pavements that is made see 50% of the continent 1.5 km of paved road or railways see so the passage is telling about ki in the process of construction in the process of building of roads in the process of paving the roads there is a huge loss to environment loss in the terms of what birds and mammals alike birds and mammals both are killed so this thing is told here uh, species related talks are also here that risk giving support to only endangered species like what we generally see is only endangered species get protection hai na other species are treated what they are treated very lightly like if their population density is high so they are not considered uh that fruitful for environment so if they are not getting any protection that that doesn't means that uh, they are all ready for uh, getting killed so that's why protection for endangered species and support for endangered species is required as well support and protection for local species should also be there so this is the basic idea and guideline um, of this passage and we'll be solving the questions so the next question study the following statements road are roads are killers for animals definitely roads are what killers both birds and mammal mammals are killed on roads definitely yes mammals and birds both are killed alike next species are most killed are necessarily the endangered ones no endangered species are already less it has been given in the passage if they are less that means their population density is also less that means they will not be killed in bulk so the local species are getting killed most of the times so this is the basic gist that we talked right now and according to that these two statements are correct and this is wrong so let's see a is correct b is false both a and b are correct so answer for question number 11th is c okay so next question we'll read roads have covered 50% no just now i have marked not only roads but rail also have covered 50% of euro road traffic causes a great risk to wildlife some species can survive all kinds of traffic on road a is correct b is false b is correct c is false by a cannot be correct hai na this is wrong a is false c is correct bhai this is also completely wrong a and b both are false and b is correct and c is false road traffic causes a great risk to wildlife see this is also a dealable question ki yes it means that only that more roads will lead to more kills so definitely this is one thing so b is correct and c is false so our answer will be b is correct and c is false okay next question number 13 okay so this is the uh, question where they have forgotten to give the question there is no question in question number 14 also they have done this but uh, we are assuming that the question and later the teachers also must have told you that the question for both the things 13th and 14th questions are like ki which of the statement is correct hai na hopefully if i am not wrong which of the statements is correct is the answer so we will see that which of the option 
इज करेक्ट ठीक है सो वी विल टेक दिस एज अ क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट इज वाइल्ड प्लानिंग रोड वी शुड सी विच स्पीशीज टू प्रोटेक्ट येस दिस इज करेक्ट वी आर डूइंग अ लॉट वी आर नॉट डूइंग अ लॉट टू प्रोटेक्ट द स्पीशीज फिफ्टी परसेंट इज कवर्ड ओनली विथ रोड जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस दैट इट इज नॉट ओनली रोड बट रेलवे ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट स्मॉल एनिमल्स इवन विथ लो पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी आर मोर आर मोस्ट एट रिस्क भाई दिस इज ऑल्सो of not much use hai na ki smaller animals even with low density are most see here the word most is making this sentence incorrect because which species are most um, risky which species are most risky the species which have larger population density larger population density they have that's why they are largely impacted that's why they are largely killed so this stands wrong so which of the option is correct option a is correct next let's see 14th 14th also we have that question you know 14th also we have this question uh which of the option is correct yes to so more mammals than birds no this is not written anywhere small animals generally keep away from roads no this is also never written in the passage see we have read the passage we have discussed the gist of it so this is also incorrect next number of road kills depends upon the population density of small animals yes number of road kills by kitne road par uh animals are killed depends upon the population density of small animals if the population density is high the road kills will be high this is the actual gist of complete passage next is animals that come out only at night are saved no this is also completely wrong because the passage mentions that nocturnal animals nocturnal animals means the animals which come out only at night they are also getting killed getting killed by what getting killed by roads because on roads we do not travel on uh, um uh, mondays or sundays or we do not travel only in the morning or afternoon we roads are every time busy so whenever the road is busy the probability is increased probability of what probability of animal and birds to be killed so definitely if they come only at night then also they are what they are getting killed so this is also wrong so the answer for this will be 14th okay 14th c part will be the answer okay next 15th the surveys ranked the road kill rate of birds and mammals yes definitely the findings put grouse and squirrel at great risk a is an assertion and b is the response b is the assertion and a is the response both a and b are false why this is not both a and b are unrelated now we have to find the cause and effect like i told you before assertion and response is like cause and effect yes so a is an assertion a is the cause and b is the response so here the answer will be what answer will be 15th a okay next next question we'll see next question is hazel grouse and ground squirrel these two names are mentioned clearly in the passage are classified as species of least concern why are they concerned least because their population density is high see everything is mentioned in the passage so the statement is a logical conclusion a piece of good news a surprise and ironical here the answer will be ironically hopefully you know what is irony what is um, ironical statements and we have already discussed in class see irony is the opposite thing that we uh, are least uh, in response of hearing see whenever i say uh, the thing which i mean in opposite like if i say the paper was damn easy is it an irony 
yes definitely it's an irony because the paper is not damn easy it is tough tougher on the side of passage they have changed the composition of asking tough questions and easy questions yes like i said before that uh, they told uh, that the pa pattern is completely okay but they changed the composition of asking the tough questions now they have asked tough questions from the passages see the uh, level of questions and the level of english they have put in the passage so the only change that has been done is in the asking of questions of uh, from which pass passage and from which pattern they should ask okay so it is ironically so our answer is c next is the title of the study should be survey road kills road density in europe need for conservation it is road kills okay definitely we are talking about road kills so the title will be road kills only next the purpose of the study is how to prevent road kills nowhere it is written the measures to prevent road kills see it is written nowhere so this is not an answer to see who is more at risk yes ana how to plan better roads no to estimate the number of road accident victims see they have not talked about uh, planning of better roads or victims or how to prevent road kills they have not talked about it so all these options are wrong our answer is b okay next next is grammar and writing finally so this is the easy part like i told you 25% 50% 25% 25% of tough part is completely over two passages they have asked and in those two passages they have asked all the like difficult questions and difficult language and assertions and response and all the reasoning also they have put in yes so now we have this very easy segment that is grammar so question number 19 i don't see why you dash borrow his cycle hai na bhai the hindi will be ki mujhe nahi pata ki tumhe un, uski cycle borrow kyun karni chahiye hai na chahiye what is the translation of chahiye in english it is should therefore we will write what should as our option okay so this is our answer we do not these all stands very less chance as an answer okay so next is my family dash in chennai see for 5 years now i have told you in class since and for where do we put all this we use all this in perfect tense but we when we are given present perfect and present perfect continuous so we will always go with what we will always go with the continuous perfect continuous tense so the answer will be what has been living in chennai for 5 years now next dash the letter arrive in your absence would you like me to forward it to you so many students many students have done this question wrong but i don't find an answer because we have already discussed the assertions of if like where do we have to use if where can we use it i have told you in the conditional in the conditional sentences i have told you that we use if but only where in three cases see understand here very nicely we can use if only in three cases firstly if it is simple present tense and further simple future or simple present tense will come yes ha na we are using if plus this we can use if in simple present where further what will come simple future or simple present we have discussed these all these in class if <clears throat> we can use in simple past tense and what will come further would third is past perfect and what will come further would have now if you are using if here think 
फॉर एन इंस्टेंस वैसे तो इफ इज कंप्लीटली रॉन्ग आंसर बट स्टिल मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव आंसर्ड व्हाट इफ सो आई एम टेलिंग यू इफ इज कंप्लीटली रॉन्ग बिकॉज इफ यू आर यूजिंग इफ विच टेंस इज दिस सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आर रूल व्हाट शुड कम फर्दर व्हाट शुड कम फर्दर सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस कैन यू सी सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस नो कैन यू सी सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस नो है ना यू कैन सी वॉट would you like so when you cannot see simple future tense when you cannot see simple present tense then no point of using if what will be the answer should will be the answer because the conditions of if as in conditional sentences are already made clear to you okay next if he came late see the question here it is again on if we have done it very nicely in class that there are only three conditions where we can use if so what you can see here if he came what is this simple past tense what was the second rule that was uh, there i wrote it just now simple past if is used with simple past what will come further would will be there yes so what will be there would will be there so answer will be would okay next 23 by the time we reach the school bell hai na by the time we reach this is what simple present tense hai na so which tense should come in the following blank see there is one rule if there are two actions and both the actions are in past so i have told you the rules according to this yes but here two actions are here but both the actions are not in past one is in present one is in future so the first action will be in future perfect and the second action will be in simple present tense yes the first action will be in simple first action will be in future perfect and the second action will be in simple present tense so by the time we reach bhai jab tak hum pahunchte hain bell baj chuki hogi hai na to ab it is a future possibility what will happen first bhai bell baj chuki hogi matlab bell ka lagna pehli baat hai first action it will be so it will be future perfect where is future perfect will be ringing this is future continuous wrong would have been ringing this is no tense would have rung this is also no tense where is future here it is future perfect so will have rung will be our answer okay so here what is our answer this according to this rule ki if there are two actions which are not in past so first action will be in future perfect and second action will be in simple present tense okay next question number 24 3 months ago 3 months ago the question is completely solved till now yes we do not have to look for anything else because we can see here what ago ago means what past ago means what past so we just have to find where is simple past here is simple past so question number 24 our answer is was okay next writing section hai na so here it is written that you are arun next is writing section near the gate of your colony what is mentioned location is mentioned there is a motor mechanics workshop hai na to location kya hai at the gate of your colony what is there motor mechanics workshop many cars are uh, parked outside the pavement pavement and even beyond see pavement is also blocked and road is also blocked because beyond pavement is what रोड इज देयर है ना डेफिनेटली इट इज लाइक दिस ओनली रिपेयर वर्क गोज ऑन भाई बिकॉज इट इज अ मैकेनिक शॉप रिपेयर वर्क विल डेफिनेटली गो ऑन येस नेक्स्ट द सराउंडिंग्स हैव बिकम 
filthy this word is very important what is filthy ha huh? what is filthy filthy is dirty filthy is dirty yes filthy is dirty unhygienic yes like that breeding place of mosquitoes and many other things like grease oil dirt and uh, what it uh, all makes so uh, filthy means unhygienic in short next filthy pe pedestrians are put to trouble arun decides to write a letter for wider audience readership wider audience readership where will audience get a chance to read when it will be published in a newspaper yes so when it will be published in a newspaper at that time audience will get a chance to read so we have to keep in mind three things first the location second the thing is getting filthy you know the area is getting unhygienic polluted filthy grease and everything and for wide audience readership next we see the letter will be addressed to by for wide readership where do we address the letter we address the letter to the editor of a local newspaper so our answer will be d next subject of the letter should be subject of the letter should be uh inconvenience see next door workshop it is not next door hai na it is not next door the location is mentioned clearly i circled the location before health hazard no next problems caused to pedestrians no hai na here pedestrians is a word which is mentioned but in this option in sanitary condition is also mentioned and colony gate is also mentioned so that means two of the things are mentioned here so we will give second priority to this and first priority to this because filthy filthy word is there and colony gate is there and both the things are coming here so our answer will be what filthy our answer will be insanitary condition and colony gate which stands c next arun decides to write this letter as see he doesn't it's not written that he is han, having any personal problem so this is wrong he intends to contest this is also not written any anywhere he is health conscious this is also not written anywhere but this is written that he wants to write for wider re, uh, readership yes so for wider readership he wants to write for a matter of social concern hai na because he wants to bring this to the notice bring this to the notice of whom of audience of pedestrians of everybody why does he want to do that for social concern okay so answer is c next he will arrange the contents of the letter in this way firstly firstly location of the workshop should be there hai na so this is wrong this has f this is wrong this and this we have eliminated two options now what is there d public inconvenience a noisy surroundings c location of the workshop public inconvenience and noisy surroundings is being caused because of garbage littering and it has becoming hazard and action is being requested yes this is correct let's see this location of the workshop and then garbage littered no 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 directly will not go to garbage littering but we can uh, schedule it like this that first we are writing location of the workshop then we are writing what people are getting affected public inconvenience noisy surroundings yes and what and then we come to what garbage littering and health hazard so our answer will be b next what kind of action would arun suggest bhai this is a very confusing question whatever action you will mark they will give the answer key in the either way round hai na this is the thing this is a very risky question to be answered and we'll have to wait for further uh, disclosure of the answer key because i think that few of the answers are not matched accordingly so cbsc will definitely issue a complete uh, set of answer key which has a decently 
correctness in the answer key. Okay, so here it is a very closely knit uh, connected uh, options are there. What kind of action would Arun suggest? Fine to be imposed, notice, workshop to be shifted and periodic visits. See, periodic visits, this is cancelled. Fine, I don't think he wants a fine because he doesn't have any personal uh, problem with the owner. Yes, so we have these two close uh, combination of options. Yes, so workshop to be shifted. See, it is written that colony gate. Where is the workshop? Colony gate. So the location is bothering Arun. Yeah, no? So if it is somewhere else, maybe, maybe we can just uh, imagine, maybe Arun will not be bothered so much. So we will decide and write for C. We will take a chance on C option. Okay. Next, the correct closing of the letter should be, again, again this is that type of question which is which has very close uh, contenders of options so uh, see we do not put apostrophe so these two are completely wrong but any of the two can be correct yours faithfully also yours truly also but we will go with yours truly yes and let's see what uh, is there further next question number 31 we have literature now they have given a very easy grammar portion they have given easy writing portion they have given easy literature portion one thing they have done is they have given difficult options yes options are very confusing options are close but definitely the paper was of normal level it is not out of the box paper yes they have just interchanged the difficult questions yes so we'll read this passage you already know from which chapter this is we have already done this chapter we'll directly go to the questions maddie was so it is uh, written right uh, right there in your uh, textbooks that maddie was definitely a pure soul a kind soul but her parents were poor and she was also poor definitely so kind soul and poor makes a correct answer next maddie was sympathetic towards wanda maddie didn't like peggy see this is wrong Anna? so a is true b is false answer is this Anna? both are true no 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 only for we'll go with the first answer next Maddie joined Peggy in making fun of Wanda. Maddie's parents were poor. See, in full paper, you have been asked reasoning. Yes, you have been asked assertions and reasons and cause and effect. So, complete reasoning sort of uh, language they have given. But definitely, we should have a hang of this language also to score well. Okay, so not a big thing. It's very small change and change is inevitable. A change is mandatory to happen so we will in future prepare like this only with difficult language but easy answers yes so maddie was joined see both the sentences are very easy but they have asked a is the cause of b is the effect what is the cause b should be the cause because maddie is poor so she joins peggy in making fun of wanda so here answer is b next boggins height is significant definitely everybody knows this it is a very easy question it is a poor neighborhood next maddie was poor and proud no maddie was never proud poor and sympathetic so sympathetic timid she wasn't timid no no so we again have very close options yes poor and sympathetic poor and so sympathetic now what do we do the question is very easy right? but the solutions are very close knit they are very close to each other you cannot eliminate with that much ease okay so we'll go with this so sympathetic next this is another uh, passage and uh, you all know this passage it is about lencho and the postmaster and what lencho writes a letter to god and uh, postmasters open this and a complete passage paragraph and uh, chapter is there we are right away going to the passage 
to the questions lencho wrote the second letter as he was see lencho wrote the first letter and then he got a reply the postmaster actually collected the fund and given it to lencho but now lencho is unhappy no he wasn't curious he was definitely hopeful hai na he was hoping that he'll get 100 pesos but he didn't get it he wasn't thoughtful otherwise he would not have said crooks he is not thoughtful at all yes but yes he is confident he is confident in god that god will provide the need hai na god will provide completely for the need god cannot be uh, a miser god cannot be a miser he, if he is providing something he is provide he will provide full okay so he is very much confident confident on what confident on god so a c and e where it is a c and e here theek hai next the postmaster opened the letter expecting it to be full of thanks yes to show his happiness full of anguish no miserly no i told you a and b where is a and b b is our answer so postmaster thought that he will be happy he will be grateful but what happened lencho was not happy lencho was not grateful he was thinking that god is has not done a correct thing with him yes so the complete story takes a turn the story we have already discussed just the answer will be b next on reading the letter the postmaster was a uh, when postmaster heard ki how uh, how lencho has written the letter when he read the letter that he is not satisfied he is angry he is saying god is miserly he is saying all these things so postmaster read the letter and became dismayed hai na he was not happy he was not pleased postmaster didn't like it yes next the post office employees are a bunch of crooks this sentence is what this sentence is ironic yes i told you what is an irony irony is like complete opposite of what we are expecting hai na what the postmaster what was expecting he was expecting that he'll be grateful and what did lencho do what did lencho do lencho uh, told that they were crooks he was not even grateful but he was angry over them yes so that completely was opposite thought and opposite reaction that is why it is ironic next find the suitable word okay this is also a reasoning related question so sanctioned sanctioned means what approved demanded means what asked this is also a simple question next read the stanzas this is a stanza from the tiger in the cage so we have read that uh, chapter before also this uh, poem before and we know that uh, the tiger is in cage and he is ignoring the visitors and he is imagining that how he would have been in the jungle and what life he would have been living but now he is captured now he is just he is just taking the rounds of the cage he is just talking in the cage okay so this is a thing he should be snarling around the houses what tiger should have done should have been doing actually he should have been doing he should have been snarling around the houses like what terrorizing the village but he is where but he is in the cage behind the bars stalking the length of his cage and ignoring visitors okay we have read this uh, poem nicely so questions the villagers don't feel happy that the tiger is caged nowhere it is written like this we feel sad that the tiger is caged yes the tiger is happy no 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 the tiger is not happy so uh, only b is correct b is right where else can we see b is right only here so our answer is this next we should protect the tiger as bhai this question also this is wrong we will go by elimination 
it is ferocious it is uh, majestic he will not uh, save tiger because it is ferocious yeah it is majestic it is the right of the tiger to be on this planet to exist on this planet so he tiger uh, tigers are a part a very well part of our environment that's why they should be there in the environment that's why they should get the protection for uh, being for existing okay next the tiger terrorizes the villagers by how can a tiger terrorize anybody can tell by killing the cattle hai na by tiger is a ferocious animal so how will he terrorize he will terrorize by killing the cattle by killing the people or the villagers next where is it ha so, huh, 43 next is 44 a tiger in the zoo ignoring visitors is an example of is an example of again this is the third time that they have been asking about irony irony means complete opposite hai na complete opposite of what we are expecting like we expected the passages to be easy but they turned ironic yes they turned complete opposite so it is an irony next the tiger is reacting to his imprisonment by in the zoo by by what he was ignoring the visitors next this is another uh, uh, chapter that we have uh, discussed footprints one so this also it was mid winter the air was bitterly cold he could not he could not do without clothes instead he was walking in the streets he decided to slip into a big london store for warmth yes so we are reading about this uh, passage and the answers let's see the questions the greatest problem for the invisible man was that the like greatest problem kya thi that he was without clothes just now we discussed yes here we discussed that he could not do without clothes it is very much cold out there in the streets and it was winter it was cold he could not do without clothes so definitely one thing is for sure that without clothes he was feeling cold greatest problem is the cold which he was feeling next he could not escape from the boys he could escape from the boys as the boys were careless no boys are not careless otherwise they wouldn't have noticed the footprints yes the boys too felt cold in the winter night no the invisible man was cleverer definitely invisible man was cleverer he went along a street where there was no mud see c and d both options are very much close definitely the invisible man was clever that's why he went to a place where there was no mud but we have to stick to the direct answers so d is our answer next it was stupid on his part to come out on a winter night he was not completely stupid though definitely hai na it was stupid but he is not stupid both are correct yes a and b both are correct next after getting rid of the boys the invisible man felt by see if he is feeling cold he is feeling hungry plus boys are uh, following him so he has so many problems out of the out of those problems first is what he was feeling cold second is what he was feeling hungry third is what uh, he was followed by the boys so so many things are Uh, his problems so when one got finished now he is not followed by anybody so he is remained with two of these things he still have all these problems so he is not completely relieved hai na he is not completely relieved he is not completely comfortable but he is partly relieved okay did you get how we are getting till the answer by using the technique of elimination we have discussed this before also when uh, we had pre boards the three tests that we did so we discussed that when you cannot get a complete right answer at that time you start eliminating the things okay 
नेक्स्ट द फ्रेज स्लिप इन टू सी स्लिप इन टू वी यूज दिस फ्रेज वेरी ऑफन स्लिप इन टू द स्लिप इन टू द क्लास स्लिप इन टू द क्लास मीन्स द टीचर इज टीचिंग एंड यू कैनॉट कम राइट अवे है ना सो यू कम डिसगाइजली है ना यू कम चुपके से एंड चुपके से या फटाफट से एकदम से दैट इज स्लिप इन टू स्लिप इन टू द क्लास या दैट मीन्स एंटर बोल्डली नो 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 यू कैनॉट कम बोल्डली मूव आउट नो फॉल इन टू एंटर क्वाइटली ठीक है इट इज नॉट फॉल इन टू और मूव आउट इट मीन्स वॉट एंटर क्वाइटली जस्ट स्लिप इन टू है ना स्लिप इन टू द क्विल्स है ना बिकॉज इट इज वेरी कोल्ड हेयर सो पीपल स्लिप इन टू द क्विल्स एंटर क्वाइटली इन टू द रजाई इन टू द क्विल्स नेक्स्ट attempt the following has given my heart a change of mood what is the poet's mood now before see it is it has asked now before what was the poet's mood the poet's mood was sad the poet's mood was gloomy but now what the poet's mood is poet's mood is now happy theek okay? hai next पेपर हैज मोर पेशेंस दैन पीपल दिस इज डायरी फ्रॉम एनी फ्रेंक है ना द चैप्टर सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू है ना वन कैन राइट एंड दिस इज ट्रू दिस इज फॉल्स बोथ दीज आर ट्रू सो आर आंसर इज द आंसर विच इज नॉट ट्रू यस सो इफ इट इज नॉट ट्रू दिस इज आर आंसर नेक्स्ट in life every man has twin obligations this is from chapter nelson mandela a walk from a walk for freedom we have discussed this chapter very much in detail so there is one line written there are two obligations there are two duties two duties to fulfill first towards family and second towards the country this is our answer next he had in fact seen his older brother catch his first herring herring is a kind of fish hai na so the sea uh, the seagull who's afraid of flying has seen his brother hai na his older brother his older brother is now flying also he is catching herring also and he is eating also devouring means eating very fast so definitely how did he feel he was already hungry hai na and all the more he felt jealous also so c and d where is c and d here is our answer next mr key singh was annoyed with ani as we already know ani is a very talkative girl so why mr key singh is annoyed because not for homework not for getting uh naughty not for weak in weak in maths he she was a very talkative girl okay next the loss of a possession should make one feel this is from the ball poem so when the small boy lost his ball hai na he felt a bit responsible that now he has grown old now he has to take the responsibility to let go things so definitely losing a possession makes one responsible okay next the black aeroplane is a and dash story we all know the story of black aeroplane how the aeroplane was stuck in the storm of clouds and how an imaginary plane guided the aeroplane till the runway so it is the mystery because that aeroplane could not be figured on the radar hai na could not be figured on the radar he could not see the pilot again he could not find the he could not find the plane itself so it is a mystery mysterious story next for tricky's present condition both mrs pumphrey and tricky are to be blamed only tricky bhai both are to be blamed ठीक है सो आर आंसर इज ए ए इज राइट एंड बी इज रॉन्ग बोथ मिसिस पंफ्रे एंड ट्रिकी आर टू बी ब्लेम्ड ओके नेक्स्ट इट वॉज क्वाइट प्लेजेंट वर्किंग फॉर अनिल है ना वाई 
it was quite pleasant working for anil why because he was a very simple person okay next griffin became a homeless wanderer because he hai na because definitely he had set his uh, landlord's house on fire and when he has set the uh, complete house on fire he doesn't have a uh, place to stay so he is a wanderer he has become a homeless wanderer so this is our answer so we are done with the question paper you have already discussed it and um, more we are looking forward to updated answer ki definitely few of the questions are uh, confusing and are really closely knit so definitely we are looking forward for cbse to uh, get a revised answer ki and uh, for removing this uh, confusing options also so that's for all thank you for watching our channel